the value of experience in the game of tennis can never be underestimated. And over the past few months, some of the veterans on the ATP Tour have been stealing the headlines, enjoying an impressive resurgence in form. Former world number one, Leighton Hewitt, was forced to undergo hip surgery last August and faced months of intensive rehab before beginning the long road back to full fitness on the Tour. Uh, yeah, it was always going to take time to, to come back from uh, you know, pretty major surgery with the hip and, and obviously the motivation was still there but you just weren't 100% sure how long it was going to take to, for all the rehab I guess to kick in and, and the recovery. The 28 year old Australian's comeback was complete when he captured the Houston title in April, his first for two years, followed by some pretty impressive Grand Slam performances. The French Open, Wimbledon time, I started to play some good tennis again and, and that gave me a lot of confidence to be able to do it on the big stage and especially over five sets. Uh, Wimbledon's one of my favourite tournaments and uh, you know, to be able to you know, get rid of Del Potter in the second round in straight sets on centre court was nice and, and obviously go so close to beating Roddick in the quarterfinals there in five sets so uh, that gives me a lot of confidence for the rest of the year now. Another man on the comeback trail is former world number two Tommy Haas. The German has undergone multiple shoulder surgeries during his career, but looks to have recaptured his best form in 2009 at the age of 31. When I first had my first two shoulder surgeries uh, back in 02 and 03, where you know that really kind of for me was a big comeback, kind of like I call it my second career in many ways. You know, being away for for a really long time. And then unfortunately I had to undergo another surgery uh, end of uh, 07 and uh, you know have been playing some decent tennis since then but not very consistent and I think uh, the consistency has been back a little bit more uh, the last few months uh, which I'm really happy about. Haas has shot back up to number 20 in the rankings following outstanding performances at Roland Garros and Wimbledon and his first tour title for more than two years. I uh, had some pretty good matches that I'm pretty pleased with and some were I still haven't found uh, my timing 100% or um, the, the mental toughness yet where I would like it to be. Because those are the moments where you want to try to play your best tennis and, and maybe have the chance to go back on the, on the big courts to play in front of a big crowd against a big player. Because that's, that's another thing why I still continue to play because this is something that's, uh, that drives me, that's, that's a lot of fun for me. And 29-year-old Juan Carlos Herrero, another former world number one and Grand Slam champion, claimed his first tour title since 2003 when he lifted the Casablanca crown on his beloved clay. The Spaniard came through qualifying to reach the main draw in Montreal. Not necessarily a bad thing. It helps a lot. I think, you know, I, I've been two times in the court uh, and I play uh, three sets because the second match uh, he retired in the second. So, of course, it helps a little bit, but, uh, you know, sometimes you get a little bit tired, but sometimes you need to get a little bit. The career of tennis players is very long, and uh, uh, I think it's normal to have some injuries, important injuries, that maybe you're a year off, like Tommy did and uh, Leighton. So, you know, right now I think we, we are in a good shape. We're playing very great, and physically we, we felt very good, so it's nice to be back. These tour veterans have plied their trade for more than a decade, and yet still the hunger remains for more tennis success. For me it's still, uh, I guess it's unfinished business, I still feel like I'm able to keep improving as a player as well, and, and the motivation was still there when you know, I wasn't playing the US Open last year, I was you know, disappointed to, to not play there, and, and that you know, still tells me that I'm hungry to go out there and compete and, and be able to mix it with these guys week in and week out. Sometimes it's very difficult to have it, uh, practice all days and uh, doing the same thing all day, so sometimes it's very difficult, but when the results are it's coming very well, like right now I think it's a little bit easier to, to, go, to go on. It's a great game, you know. This is something uh, I've been doing as a very, uh, at a very young age and uh, something I, I just love to do and I just like to ride the wave as long as I can, you know. I mean, one day this is going to be an end, um, but uh, hopefully I can, I can determine when that will be and not, uh, and not my body with, uh, with injuries. Don't be surprised to see the elder statesman on court here in Montreal towards the end of the week, showing the youngsters a thing or two about just how it's done.